Yo guys, what's going on? I'm going to do another video. Um, just in the drain station, just thought I'd do a quick little video. Yesterday's video, I think, got a bit of confusion um, about the whole Brett Sambalonga deal. Uh, it is on Instagram. Um, I've seen it all over different pages. Um, of course, yesterday was the first time I got a chance to actually report on it. Um, of course, David Nugent could be returning on loan, so for those that didn't believe what I was saying, go over to Instagram, look at the Borough pages, and uh, yeah, there you will see the Brett Sambalonga story. Um, but this one is, of course, with the new um, goalkeeper we've just signed, Dejan Stonovic, or Stokovic. Um, signed for just under a million pounds on a three and a half year contract from Stained Gallen. He's Austrian, he's 26. Um, we've got him if you see his contract out till he's nearly 30, um, so it's a good bit of time with him. Um, I don't know much about the player, never really heard of him. In fact, I never heard of him before he signed the Borough. He was one of them ones that didn't really get publicised as it was happening, it was kind of just happened and we saw the sort of update. And, you know, he went from there really. Um, but, you know, St. Gallen, again, not much on them. I don't really know a great deal on them. Um, but what I do know is that a new goalkeeper's come in. He obviously shows the path of Butter. He wears number 30. Um, as much as I obviously like the fact that he came to Butter and the fact that I'm happy with the transfer, you know, it's another goalkeeper. It's a um, bit more backup. I do want to see Pears keep his place and go because I think since Pears has come in, even Randolph was here since he got his opportunity. And uh, of course, when the mishaps were going on with Randolph, he's injured, he isn't. And Pears he stepped in. But Pears did all right. You know, I mean, Pears has been doing well since he stepped in. Okay, he concedes now and again, but you have to blame the defence as a certain part of that as well. So, no, I think Pears has done good. You know, so I don't want him to just, you know, in, you know in the see a goalkeeper to come in. And after a month or so, I say, all right, Pears out of the way, we're going to put this new guy in. Um, of course, give him a chance in. In maybe one or two games, um, of course we're not in the cup anymore, so I kind of limit his sort of play time. I would say for the new goalkeeper because, like I say, Pears he's got to be number one. It's as simple as that. But um, I'm happy with him. I'm happy enough for the transfer. Like I say just under a million pounds, three and a half year deal. He's here for a long time. If for whatever reason Pears next season or whatever, and the summer gets a big transfer move away, we have Thomas May asked me also have uh, Stokovic um, you know, to fall back on. So. Austrian, decent goalkeeper apparently from St. Gallen. I need to watch some videos on him because obviously I don't know much on him. Um, but I say yesterday I do a little fat file on him. Like I say, he's 26. He's got loads of, loads of time on his contract. He's chosen a brother. First time in English football, of course, coming to Middlesbrough. Um, of course, our recruitment team has seen something in him. Neil Bowles, Steve Gibson, um, Johnny Woodgate to an extent, of course, they've seen something in him. And like I say, it was a bit weird that this one wasn't so much put everywhere. You know, it wasn't publicised. It wasn't. You know, Burrowing tops this guy, and if it wasn't, it was very, very sort of quiet. It wasn't one that was out in the open, you know. So that's why it kind of took me by surprise the fact that we brought in a new goalkeeper. But this is a new goalkeeper in the town. Um, you know, he's at the Burrow, he's chosen Mighty Burrow to play for, and listen, that's the way it goes. But as for yesterday's video, people were confused. I'm only reporting stories that I have seen. I wouldn't ever make any sort of false stories up. It's just not my way of going about YouTube. I don't need to clickbait people, I don't need to lie about subjects and transfers every single transfer i'm talking to you about is one that's been in the news recently and um, you know the brits on blogging with the leads it was in the news like literally go and go and look at the footy news from uh you know in the last couple of days you'll see that brits on blogging was linked with leeds united you'll see you know last season he was linked to celtic uh this season been linked to bristol city been linked to aston villa he wanted to pay 15 million pound for him so i wasn't lying when i was saying he's um Subjects, and I think a lot of people sort of read the titles as well. People don't actually watch the videos, read the title and assume. So instead of assuming, actually go and watch the video and watch it all the way through and understand exactly what I'm saying. Um, but one that does interest me is David Nugent could be back, uh, could be coming back on loan. Um, and as I said yesterday, I'd love him back on board, I really would. Um, <clears throat> I just think he'd be a great player, I think he'd fit in straight away. So yeah, um, just a quick video on your uh, Sunday afternoon. And of course, we play again Saturday, so preview will be on Friday. And, uh, you know, I'll try to get a few videos out during the week for you as well. Um, you know, my uh, January player of the month. I'm a force for the uh, next month of February. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you very, very soon. Hope the borough.